Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today we're going to look at General Lando Calrissian's cape. If you collect Star Wars figures, one of the last 17 figures that is always difficult to get complete is Lando Calrissian in his General's outfit. Here you can see my very own Lando General, and as you can see, he doesn't have a cape. The cape is always missing from these figures, and if you want to buy a complete version of Lando with his cape, it can set you back quite a lot of money, whereas a loose version of Lando without the cape is a lot cheaper. So, what we're going to do is try and make a cape. Now, this is a question I get asked all the time, is what sort of material to use and uh, you know how to go about making it and it's proved to be very difficult to find a good material now you can buy some uh, replacement capes on ebay and i have to say they're not very good they're not made properly and the material that they use doesn't seem to match that well and i've been chatting with a lot of people about this um gary barmel from uh, the geek force guys if you haven't checked out uh, their youtube channel or their facebook pages or like go and check them out because they're really nice guys uh, gary got in touch with me a while back saying that he'd found some material that he thought was quite good and he sent me a version of the uh, cape material that he'd got and as you can see here it's quite a sort of soft satiny material and it's fairly thin it's actually not a bad match but probably a little bit too dark and a little bit too thin so uh, this would do quite well but I, I have to say I wasn't that sort of uh, it, it, for me it's not quite right but uh, it would do as a sort of uh, as a push uh, for the right sort of material then another person got in contact with me and that was Chris Apps from New Zealand saying that he had found something that was a pretty good match and that he'd like to send me some so in the post a couple of days ago I received a package and in that package was this now this is actually pretty good this is uh, the right sort of weight material it's quite uh, not too heavy and not too not too sort of uh, thick and as you can see the color of it uh, sort of matches it's it's maybe a tad too light but the actual finish is quite nice uh, the only downside to this material is that as you can see this side looks pretty good the back of it is pretty shiny but I think we can get away with using this as a cape now this material is called a uh, stretch satin knit and the, the color is uh, buff so if you want to look for something yourself uh, then I would suggest asking uh, your local sort of fabric merchants for some stretch satin knit material and uh, in buff color and hopefully they'll have something similar so let's go ahead and we'll try and make a cape out of this and see how it looks so the first thing you're going to need as always is a pattern now I don't have an original cape to uh, make a pattern of but uh, Bern Kaiser very kindly scanned his uh, version of the cape in which is an original cape next to a ruler and that enabled me to make a pattern and so here is the pattern this pattern will be available via toypoloids.com so uh, you'll be able to download it for free from there so what I've done is I've taken the scan that Bern sent me and I've uh, obviously made this guide now I've printed this out just onto normal uh, printer paper but what I've done is on the back of it I've stuck some double-sided tape and as you can see here it's got a little bit of uh, fabric left on it because I've actually done a test run of this already and the reason I do uh, the double-sided tape is because you can then stick it onto the material and cut around it so if we get the material we have here I'm going to lay this flat and I'm going to try and keep it so that the uh, these sort of the the lines of the fabric are the right way round so we get the pattern with the bit of uh, double-sided tape on the back and I'm going to line this so that it runs with the sort of the lines of the fabric like so and then the double sided tape enables it to sort of stick to the fabric and we can then cut around this so I've just got a pair of scissors here and I'm just going to carefully cut around the edge of the pattern that is double sided taped onto this fabric So now that I've neatly cut around then I can uh, remove this from the guide that I've made. All we've got to do is gently pull it away from the double sided tape and we should be left with one correct sh shaped cape. Like so. So that's the first part done. Now the next thing is uh, if you buy the uh, repro capes that people are selling on eBay, they aren't actually correct. What they've done there is just cut a hole in the top of the fabric and you force Lando's head through it. But the original capes were actually sewn together. So as you can see here, there's a little gap between these two bits. So we now need to sew those two bits together and that will make the sort of neck hole that Lando's head goes through. To sew this together, I've got some sort of uh, lightish brown cotton here and I'm just going to uh, sew this very carefully. Now, 
what I want is obviously we've got the shiny side and we've got the matte side. What I'm going to do is turn it over to the shiny side and then sort of join these two uh, little tabs together uh, so that you're looking at the shiny sides of both like so. And then I'm just going to carefully sew, if I can pick up the needle, I'm going to carefully sew through these two bits just to join them together like so. It's got a bit of a knot there. As you can see I'm not an amazing sewer. This is really something that Mrs. Toy Polloy is a lot better at. There you go, so I've just done one and I'm going to just sew back and forth a couple of times just to make sure this is firmly held. So then we can snip off the end of the thread and there, if I turn this around the other way now, that is what the neck hole for uh, Lando's head should look like. So let's go and put this onto Lando and we'll see what the final result looks like. So here's my Lando, here's the new cape with the hole and I should just be able to push his head through like so and that should then sit quite nicely on his shoulders which it does you see and if you don't sew this bit it doesn't seem to sit right and that's the problem with the uh, repro ones you can buy off ebay so let's stand him and see what he looks like now i think that's actually quite a close match it certainly uh, doesn't stand out as being a modern cape the material quality is quite old-fashioned and actually now now that it's draped you can't see the shininess of the inside of the cape if obviously if i turn this out you can see how how sort of shiny and sparkly that looks but the rest of it looks pretty good. So I'm really happy with that. I think that's a, a pretty good uh, replacement cape. So I hope this guide has been of interest to you. As I said before, I will make the uh, pattern for Lando's cape available on my website, which is toypolloy.com. So uh, if you want that, go and grab that. That will be for free. You can download that one and uh, have a go at making your own replacement general Lando Calrissian cape. Hope that's been of interest and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Polloy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Polloi on Twitter and Facebook.